Hi students, welcome to English class. Since one week I told you about bridge course. Bridge course means revision. I told you revision, how to write alphabets. And also I told you about lines and strokes. Today I am going to start how to write capital and small S, N, P, T, A. You will learn alphabets A to Z. But according to I master syllabus, you should learn first five letters that are S, N, P, T, A. Have understood? Okay, shall we start? Or we will revise uh, lines and strokes. Okay, see here. Standing line. This is standing line. This is sleeping line. This is left slant line. And this is right slant line. This is left half circle. This is right half circle. And this is up curve or up half circle. And this is down curve or down half circle. And this is circle. What is this? This is circle. And one more is there. Zigzag like this. Or like this. Zigzag. And curve. Have you understood? See here. This is standing line. This is sleeping line. This is left slant line. This is right slant line and this is left half circle and this is right half circle. This is up curve or up half circle and this is down curve and this is circle. This is zigzag and this is also zigzag and this is curve. Okay, shall we start letters? According to I master, which, we, which alphabets we learn? Yes, N, P, T, A. Okay. I will show you how to write capital and small S, N, P, T, A. Okay, see here. First letter is yes. This is four line. While writing capital letter, you should touch this first line. And this third line. Yes, how you should write? See here. Half circle. Take half circle and one more half circle. Half circle, one more half circle. Left half circle and right half circle. Understood? It will become capital S here. You should touch this first line to third line. Capital S. Capital S. Small s. Small letter should be written in within. Two lines here. Half circle and one more half circle. Left half circle and right half circle. It means small s. S after which letter comes? N. Capital N. Standing line. First line to third line. You should touch these two lines. Standing line and one more standing line. And slant line. Understood? Standing line. Standing line. And one, one slant line. It becomes capital N. Understood? Small n. See here. Standing line. And curve or half circle. It becomes small n. See here. Small n should be written within these two lines. Understood? Capital S. Small s. Capital N. Small n. N after which letter comes? P. Capital P and small p. How you should write capital P? Standing line. First line to third line. You should touch these two lines. Standing line and half circle. It becomes capital P. Standing line, half circle. It becomes P. Capital P. Small P means second line to 
This last line you should touch like this. See here. Second line to last line. Small P. The line. Second line to third line and half circle like this. Small P. Capital P. Small P. P after which letter comes? T. T. How should you write T? Capital T. Standing line. First line to third line. Standing line. Sleeping line. Standing line. Sleeping line. Capital T. Capital T afterwards. Small T. How should you write? See here. Standing line and a curve. And sleeping line. Small T. Capital T. Small P. We should touch first line and third line. P after which letter comes? A. A. How you should write? Left slant line, right slant line and a sleeping line. Left slant line, right slant line and a sleeping line is known as capital A. Small a. Circle. Circle should be written with this two lines. Circle and a curve or stroke like this. Small a. Understood? Shall we revise one more time? Capital S. Small s. Capital S. Small s. Capital N. Small n. Capital N. Small n. Capital P. Small p. Capital P. Small p. Capital T. Small t. Capital T. Small t. Capital A. Small a. Capital A. Small a. Have you understood how to write? You should practice well in four line books. You should touch the lines properly. It will be very neat. Okay, will you practice? Bye students. Thank you.